Okay, it is right here. You can see what I did. I'll try to hold the camera still. I'm in the box. I'll zoom out. You can see how I have the door here and I have the uh, RJ45 splitter. And I just took a piece of solid network wire, RJ45 that is, and I'll zoom in as close as I can. There we go. I don't know if that'll ever come clear, but you can see where there's two wires, the orange stripe and the brown stripe, and then the brown solid and the orange solid. See if I can get a better picture of the brown solid. There it is. There's two wires there together, and I soldered them together to the pad. And that's just not going to get any clearer than that. But just know that I split this. I actually have two wires connected to the middle solder pad. There we go, that's clear. And then two wires connected to the left solder pad. The solder pad, the outer solder pad, is this one here. This is actually the ground solder pad, which would come in through the DMX here. You would get ground. And uh, if you get, like I ordered something from uh, MCM Electronics that I'm going to connect to this adapter here. But you don't need to worry about that. And what I did was, since I have two wires connected here and two wires connected here, they're piggybacking the signal. And inside the box, all I did, well here, I'll pause it, let's see. Okay, that's a little bright. But inside the box here, you'll see how I split off the brown. There it is. You see how I split off the brown and the orange. The orange is the color we use, but since I piggybacked the two, and since they're both connected to the board with the same wire, they're carrying the same data. So, with the keystone jack, if you look on the side, you'll see that there's an A and B configuration. You're going to use the B configuration, and you're going to put on your keystone jack, uh, well, you'll see, I don't want to take them off of here, but, um, you just set them out through the side here. They'll come, there's little notches and so forth. And you just run them right through and you push this down on top of it. And that's all there is. So this was really simple. This took like five minutes to do. And then I gave enough lead so that I could open and close the door so that there's no play in the, uh, in the wiring at all. And I could go further and I could zip tie this to the to the back of the case and I could like I zip tied it here so that there wouldn't be the connection here at the board would get loose so I did anchor that down a little bit so there you go hope that helps